In this video, we're gonna find all second order partial derivatives of this function. You can think of this as f of x, y, if you like. You have to find all second order partial derivatives. So let's start by finding the first order ones. So let's do this del z, del x. So del z, del x is the partial derivative with respect to x. So all of the y's are constants. So it'll be four x cubed. And then here, this derivative is one. And the, the y and the five are constants, so it's minus five y. And then this derivative is zero because we're taking the partial derivative with respect to x, and all of the y's are constants. Okay, now let's find the second order partial derivative with respect to x. Basically, this means you just take the derivative again. Okay, this is the notation for the second order partial derivative with respect to x. So it'll just be 12x squared. And this derivative is zero because all the y's are constants. Good stuff. Now let's go to del z del y. So del z del y, we're looking here and we're taking the derivative with respect to y. This will be zero. The derivative of y is one, so we're left with negative five x. And then taking the derivative with respect to y, so three times seven is 21, and then we have y squared. So again, the derivative is zero, the derivative is one, so we're left with negative five x. Here we get 21 y squared. Let's do this one now, so del z, del squared z del y squared. This is the second order partial derivative with respect to y. So this will be zero, this will be 42 y. Okay, now we, so this is one answer. This is another answer. We want the second order partial derivative in this question. So now the tricky part. We have to find, let's say this. Let's say we have to find this, del y, del x. So what does this mean? This means that this is called the mixed partial. So first you find the partial with respect to x, then you find the partial with respect to y. This notation is read right to left, right to left, right to left, right to left. So you look at del z del x up here, then you take the partial with respect to y. Oh, that's just going to be negative 5. Now let's do the other one, del, del squared z del x, del y. This is read right to left, right to left. So you look here, because we already took del z, del y, and you take the partial with respect to x. Okay, look, negative 5. Notice they're the same. That's pretty much going to happen almost every time, pretty much. As long as things are continuous, these will always be uh, equal, as long as these guys are continuous. Uh, if you use other notation for this, you can call this fx. You can call this fxx. You can call this fy. And you can call this fyy. And then here, here's the tricky piece. So this is, first you take the partial with respect to x, then the partial with respect to y. So this is fxy. So this is right to left, this is left to right. Here it's right to left, so first you take the partial with respect to y, then you take the partial with respect to x. So you read this right to left, you read this left to right. So different notation, but it means the same thing. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is learning some Calculus 3. Take care.